So SIMP is something which deals around the symbolic computations or you can say mathematical uh, expressions and equations, okay? This is what exactly SIMP deals about, right? Uh, now, when we deal with symbolic computation, what exactly we say it as? Like the mathematical objects which are represented, not exactly like uh, uh, approximately or you can say mathematical expressions with some unevaluated variables. When we say x plus y equals 3, what is that? x and y are unevaluated, right? Then further we go and evaluate those things to get the answer. Alright, so that's the working basically. Okay, well, let's further go ahead with all. So you might have read about the functions of uh, math modules and all to find the square root. Or otherwise, if, if I say that I want to find a square root of 64, what are the possible ways? 64 uh, star star. Mm, don't say star. Asterisk. 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 Yeah, 64 asterisk. 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 Asterisk
see math. So you have exponents, cos, tan, a tan, infinity, is close, infinite, nan, not a number, basically log, log 10, uh, phase, pi, polar, rectangle, sign, and a lot of things. Okay. So you will use this, like uh, going with all the algebraic expressions, particularly. You will get all these things. Okay, fine. Mm, let's go ahead right now. So it's 437, So uh, these are the possible ways. One is uh, again from like if you take from there, I can also write SQRT of 6. We'll also learn this one. Ways are there to find out the things, right? These are the perfect square. 64 is a perfect square, and we are getting the results accordingly for our things. Now, let's say, guys, that if we have uh, imperfect square, non perfect square, basically, in that case, what is going to be done, right? Like if we say uh, square of 34, what's the thing? Uh, 5.83 something, like that. But can we always write if I'm uh, just writing, let's say, uh, where is that? There is something you can see the screen. Can you see this whiteboard? I think it might be yes or no quick answer. No access. No access. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, okay, once again. You don't go for that access. Can you see the screen? My screen, can you see the screen? Yes, sir. All right, yes, sir. That's, that's what I'm asking. Can you see this white board? Yes, sir. All right, that's all, all you need. You don't have to go for access and all. So I'm saying that uh, if it is something like under root of uh, 34, right? So you are not always going to like if you are solving something, you just use under root 34. Are you going to use something like uh, 8 point whatever the results you are making? We don't write something in the points and decimals and that it making other results. We just leave it as something. If we write under root of 8, we can write it as 2 root 2. Are we going to write 2 point uh, 2 multiplied by 2.141 and all 1.141 and all multiplying with the 2 under root of 2 yeah going with under root of 2 do we do this 1.41 and we're all multiplying with that no, no sure. we just leave it there as it is as oh. in the root right so in the real life like if we for exactly what if we want to do up the mathematics that was that is what called as symbolic representation right because that is not a numerical expression a numerical value we are not getting a numerical value we are just leaving it as a symbolic representation of under root of 34 which is not a perfect square so for that case is if it is not a perfect square what what we do is we leave it as right so if i find a square root of 8 it is 2.828427 something like this right uh, but if we go and import the simply now, okay, simply as SP I am writing. So I will write SP dot SQRT. 
of root e4. All right. In that case, I'm not going to get something as 2.82. I'll get the root 2 root 2. Clear? Symbolic representation. The lowest symbolic representation you can get there. You want a square root of 34. Square root of 34. That's it. Well, I'm going to find out the values and all. But if I say math dot I'll get 5.8303 as a result. Okay. Getting the things. I think you might get. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is like when uh, there is an exact square, you will get the result. But if it is not an exact square, uh, in all the cases, we get results numerically. Like here, we get the symbolic representation. That is the thing. very basic one, the very first thing. Now, next comes about the root. So, why I'm writing sp dot sqrt? Because I have imported simply as sp, right? So, I what I do is I just import simply, and the next line I say from simply import everything. That's it. Done. That asterisk sign means that from that package you are importing everything. Sir, is this is this a variable name? SP. SP. Yeah, that can be uh, like, what? What's your name? Anshika. What is it? Yes. Yeah, Anshika. So like, uh, uh, let's say import simply. Where it is? Hmm. I'm writing correctly. A N S H I P H A. Okay. So let's say if I'm writing like this, right? So what I'll say now a n s h i k a dot s q r t of 34. See the result. So that does not make any sense of like what you are writing as your convenience. Like import simply. Why we write as? Because we don't want to write for the long time. Like simply uh, every time i'm not going to write simply dot something simply dot something right because that something comes under the module of simply yes sir so for every time why to write simply dot something simply dot something in any of the package let's no, say no sir that, i was asking hmm. this yeah SP, that that can be anything that can be anything that it's not a variable it's your calling okay. name what you are uh, writing for that function okay but if you yeah. if you are writing it import simply and from simply import everything in that case you don't have to write anything you just write square root that's it done okay okay so because uh, like i always avoid to write long things so i always use this asterisk that is from anything bring everything that's it very clear so this is being the square roots now coming up the roots now if i say that you have to find out the cube root of 27 how will you define 27 cube root double asterisk hmm? one by three hmm. that's it in simply what you can do is you can write root of 27 okay root of 27 only if you write root of 27 what you'll give that root is missing one required positional argument that is n what is n n is that the number what you want to write the n root that is what is the root number uh, i want to find the cube root that is 3 so n is 3 so you will ha we'll have to give a comma and we'll have to write 3 i want the cube root of 27 that is clear to everyone having any doubts to everyone yes so clear hmm now we'll run this we'll get the answer three okay so if it is the fifth root of 27 fifth root of 27 3 of 3 by 5 right 
if it is the fifth root of x, sixth root of x, sixth root of x, something like this. Okay. When we are talking about the roots, because see, writing your expression symbolically is important. When you are learning simply, it is important that you can write your expression symboli uh, symbolically. Oh, what is that? Symbolically, basically. Okay. So, like, uh, let's say you get a linear uh, equation here, uh, or let's say thirds. It's a cool topic. Thirds. So oh, let's take in one. Okay. So you need to write that root of x multiplied by y equals root x multiplied by root y. Right. Okay. Now, how you are going to write this? Root of x multiplied by y equals to root x multiplied by root y. Only you think of like this term for now. Root of x multiplied by root of y. What should I write here? Very easy. Now, root of x multiplied by root of y. I'll just write square root because if it is a root, just a square root, then it is not necessary for every time to use the root function. You can use. There is no such uh, thing, right? Like, uh, root of x square multiplied by the root of y square. Is this something like this? Root x y multiplied by this. Mm, clear. But again, I write like uh, this and this square root of x multiplied by square root of y. So like things. All right. Easy. Any doubts? Till now, it's being easy, I think. So, it comes under the category of one second, let me search on algebra where it is. Algebraic field and algebraic number. Polynomial where it is P, 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 P. Polynomial ring yeah here it is so it comes under a lot of things right so if you if like if you are thinking that you only have mathematical things in the simply then you are like thinking something wrong because in simply you have uh, physics you have a lot of things a lot of things are there if we go in the physics uh, topic you can say you have uh, for the physics, if I say, what are the topics you are going to cover in the physics, like uh, hydrogen wave functions, uh, dimensions, unit and dimension chapters, you know, MLT, T square, and all, all those things what we used to do in the class in 11th and all, mechanics, kinematics, all the equations, circuit plottings, KCL, KS, circuit of law, and all, and a lot of things are there. Okay, so those things. Those it come under all the operations here, you might get something from the physics department also. Where it is, where it is? P Y Python. No. So if you get the directory of the simply from the Python, I think there is something still size of Results of the string are not required. All right. So uh, let's solve some questions from the third. Now, if the question something is that under root of twelve by under root of one twenty one, giving the results as two root three by eleven. Okay. So how we are going to write up this? Hmm. Under root of twelve by under root of eleven. So it is root of 12 by 11 11 or 121 what was that 121 sorry 121 and what root 2 oh, oh sorry here it is okay so it is the root of 12 by 121 by 2. So, it, I 
one bracket is missing and that is being this results there okay so just like making it as like if i say sqrt of Well, root three divided by <coughs> SQRT of one twenty one. Two root three by eleven results. Two root three by eleven. Okay, because under root of a by b something means as root a by root b. Okay, so these are the very common things. What you do is you try to solve uh, class six seven mathematics questions because. The more you will practice yourself on this making uh, equations, like writing the way of equations, you will get more understanding in the root concept. Okay. Next, moving on. Next, we have something called as algebra. Okay, algebraic equations and all. So, the second topic is equation writing. Equation framing, equation writing, whatever you say. Okay. And one more thing, like what are the versions you are using for the simply we are what version we are using will print it that print simply version is equals to comma. You can say sp sp we haven't. Just write simply dot underscore underscore version to get the error. Yeah. So we are using 1.5.1 versions. Okay. All right. Next. So equation writing is like if an equation is x plus 5 equals 3. Is this a valid equation if I run this? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes sir. Yes, sir. yes sir. Yes sir and no sir. So two yes, one yes no. Sir. Three yes. Yes sir, yes sir. Every, no, no, everyone sir. Go, yes, sir. go okay, everyone is going with yes. Yes sir. Hmm. So you all are wrong. See the things? You are using two operators. X plus five. Oh, yes. Equals to three. <laughs> now she's saying. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. See, uh, x plus five is equals to three. You can make one operator there or x plus equals to something like that. Or you are using two operators at a time and that is can't assign to the operator f. Something. Obviously, that cannot be. Right? What is there? So how can you write this equation x plus 5 equals to 3? There we have something called as eq, eq equation in a parenthesis x plus 5, give a comma. So this is your left hand side, okay, x plus 5 is equals to 3, that's it, done, easy. Any doubts? No, sir. All right. So let's come to the equations. Three x square minus two x y plus c. Three x square minus two x y plus c. Oh, it is not a very hard equation. Three x square plus minus two x y plus c. Three x square minus two x 
y c plus c plus c plus c this is sum oh no c c plus 3x square minus 2x square okay and you get the things so it gets arranged accordingly all right like in sets you see uh, you get the arrangements accordingly to the uh, ascending order same as r So equation framing is like one of the important one. All right. Now let's write an equation. E x is equals to uh, x plus five. Hmm? And this is my E x x plus five. Now the very simple one. What we did in the like I'm I'm going to start up with class six and seven questions. Okay. So when we used to do something called a substitution. When we say that if we are going to substitute the value of x with five, then what is the result? Ten x. Ten x. Ten. Ten. Sorry. Ten. 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 So uh, uh, we have to write something like five plus five. Is this? Can we do look uh, like this? Five plus five. We can assign the value of x. X has five. Okay, so x equals to five, and then e x equals to five x plus five. Still, see, no changes. One second. I wasted this x. Yeah. So, no changes is there. Any changes? Why? We can change the x first. We can change the uh, x into int, and then uh, pass the value five. And type casting because x here x is in the string. Mm. See, there is something called as substitution in the x. If if you are looking for the x, there is something called as substitution. So, substitution is there. And now, what is substitution called as? This, 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 this. Substitution. Subs. That's it. Very easy. Make a parenthesis. Write five. So, in the expression e x, substitute the value of x with five. Any questions? Run this answer. I say I have an expression where I say x plus one, x plus y, whole square. This is something e x looks like. Now I say e x dot substitute. How will my equation look if I say that e x dot substitute the value of y with one, x plus one whole square. Yes. Yeah. That is important. Equation framing and understanding the things because uh, unless you understand, you are not going to make anything with that. All right. So how do we substitute if there are two variables in the equation? Just like the previous one. Two variables. Like you want yes. to like write something like this. So substitute accepts either one or two arguments. Like, see, uh, yes. so let me write it as help of simply dot. You will get the documentation of this substitute. Simply dot subs. Like, what is this?
one second. What's the mm -hmm. documentation is not coming? So these packages are there in the simply calculus algebra we are doing algebra right now then we have combinatrix calculus we'll do it in calculus we have functions g algebra physics plottings polynomials printing solvers all these things now where were we expr expressions factors we are dealing something called as what we are doing now Substitute. 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 Where is that substitute? Compute with comma. Can we use expression on the terms of substitute? Okay. EXPR? Mm -hmm. EXPR? Mm. Expression is something like that. What do you say? EXPR? Mm. Dot sums and then if any variable may show it under it, show it under it. For example, EXPR dot sums in bracket uh, x comma 2. Mm and by comma 4 uh, dot subs ke baad x comma 2 hmm. bracket close ok dot subs hmm. hmm. expr we don't have even we have ex Hmm. There is something a function called for oh, six. Yes. What is that function? Ah. So big documentation it is. Well, I'll give you uh, that function name of that. Apart from this, there is a function which can combine more than that. Like from this, you can go for as many as you want. Like one, two, as it was given to you. I will pop algebraic dot subs if I can get a substitute. Don't give more. Let's be uh, like now problem is sorted out, right? Anshika, your your doubt it was. So things have been sorted out. We can see how it is being done, right? For more than one. So, like this. Now uh, we have very good examples, like if we say two is equals equals to four minus two. That is true. But what if I say that a plus b a plus b whole square is equal equals to 
a square plus b square plus 2ab is it correct or not mm, correct 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 everyone is going with correct okay so a plus b is equals to like giving as a whole square equals a square plus b square plus 2ab what does it makes a sense what it makes basically two variables getting squared giving the results as a square plus b square plus 2ab but if i run this i get the results as false has uh, the a and b values be defined no have we defined the values yes no like if i say a equals 4 a equals 4 b equals 5 then if i run this equation 81 if i run this one 81 right but still the values you are getting is wrong why because you haven't defined that things right so for expressions like once you define you can check on what is my points if you have expressions see now it is true if you have expressions which are undefined which the values of the uh, variables are unevaluated undefined in those cases you can uh, go through the uh, what is that function called as equalities equalities okay so like here in place of equals you can just write dot equals Spelling, okay, okay, something. Oh, yeah. It has no at. Oh, a and b has been defined as integers right now. So oh, let me do one thing. Hmm. Now you see, it is true. Okay. so now however if you even don't have any of the uh, like uh, variables defined and all you can just write dot equals which will be used just to check up the equalities of the expressions what you write okay understood so whenever you want to just check up two equations you can write between the equalities to equals to get the things okay Fine. See, can you just repeat this one? Mm-hmm. Repeat. Okay. See. Yes, a square minus b square. Yeah. Now it is fine. A square minus b square. Okay. What is the formula of this? A plus B minus B. So we'll have to write equals A plus B. Multiply it by A minus B. Now we'll get the two results, even if we don't define, because it compares with the expressions, it compares with the formulas, it compares. It takes down a uh, automatic. Uh, value and keep the values and then it runs the following code and then you get the result but the process are too fast okay uh, so that you get the things accordingly very quickly okay that is the thing that's the points and all say on Got it. Things clear. Having this will now. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. Ask us. Sir. So the so the equal is going that the a a square minus b square is going to check the uh, formula and then the compared to the right uh, side of the equation, isn't it, sir? Yeah. Like LHS equals to right uh, right hand side. That's it. All equalities and like equating of the equations and all that. 
I saw something no there. What was that? Aisha is saying no. Aisha is having doubt. Yes, what doubt you are having? You can say what doubt you are having. next come on the uh, equations right now okay so I'm making one equation right and uh, I'll just say you to simplify simplification factorizations and all those things so my equation is that is e x is equal to I think I have e x x is my whole square okay now if I want to get the formula of this x plus y whole square. What is the formula? x square plus y square plus 2ab. But how we are going to get it? Using the function expand. And then if you want to write this equation, how will you write? That eq of ex is equals to expand of ex, isn't it? Yes, no. You don't get it. Hmm. What is EQ used for? Making any equations? Yeah. Right? So, equation of what is the left hand side? EX. What is your EX? Yeah. X plus Y whole square. So, EX plus Y whole square yeah, 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 yeah. is equals to X of EX. Yes. That is this. Yes. Clear to everyone. Having any doubts, you can say. And Q stands for equal. Equation, equation. Okay. Yes. How many of you have more doubts? See, if you have doubts, you can ask now because you will be also having tests on this simply after the class like after the second class when sir after second class today is the first class okay uh, yes. the, like the next after next class you will be having this all right next so uh, expand of ex like this like okay so for the algebra you can just simply use expand now if it is a trigonometric term, like if it is something called as uh, sine 2 theta okay 2 sine theta cos theta like sine 2 theta sine 2 theta okay so if I say the formula of sine 2 theta what is it I'll just say that sine 2 theta is going to be like if it is my eq small eq okay so i'm going to say that my equation is going to be expand underscore the trigs okay for trigonometric expand underscore trigonometric trigs okay oh i i think i have made a mistake 
expand underscore trig. What the? Okay, uh, there's something trigs in though. That is it. another thing. Trigs in. That is having something different. Okay. We'll go on what is it. For now, see. EQ of EQ. EQ means like uh, the expression you have sign to theta and the results corresponding. For the trigonometry, you will have to use expand underscore of trigonometry. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So it goes like this. Kindly mute the mics. Thank you. So for the various identities and the various kind of variables and all, you can go through all these things, getting other results in everything. Now, many a times we have seen that if I, if we want to write something like 1 by 2 plus 3 by 4 or any equation like 1 by x, 1 by x plus 1 by y is equals to 1 by x, y. If I want to write something like this, is it possible to write like this? Be confident, yes or no? Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. She is saying again, yes. No, sir. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. Making C. Here you are using 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 operators. If 2 operators cannot be done, how can you use 5 operators? And you haven't made any multiplication. Yes, sir. Okay. So, what should be done? There should be something called as rational. Rational of 1 by x. What is it now? x has got x. x is having any value? No. Invalid input. Okay. Simplify of one by x of plus one by y. Yeah, rational is not working, no problem. Let's have it from this side. So, simplify of this is equals to. Simplify of 1 by x multiplied by y. And that is a complete equation. 1 by x multiplied by y. Yeah, done. Now, what is simplify? Simplify is something which makes your string as a numerical number. Makes your string as a numerical number. Got it, points, guys. Like if I say simplify, not simplify, all right, simplify, simplify of 5 multiplied by. 3. What's the result? 5 multiplied by 3. 50. But in Python, if you say, don't try this in Python. 5 multiplied by 3 will be 5, 5, 5. Okay. So that's the difference between the libraries and basics. Okay. So what Simplify does, it converts your string to the numerical values. So if I'm writing 1 by x plus 1 by y, it is something like this. But in every case, this does not work. Why? Because if you write something called a simplify, and you say that 12 by 4, so you get the result. But you say, 
evaluate equals to false. That means you don't want to evaluate, you only want to represent. That is 12 by 4. Clear? That is how we deal up with the things. Okay. Rational is something like if you say rational of 1 by 2. That is 1 by 2. That's it, simple. 1 by 2. Or rational of 1 by 2. Okay. Like this. So you can make various things like accordingly to this and you can make the values even with various things further. So let's write an equation and let's try to like, get the things. So if we have a linear equation, how we are going to solve that? Let's see. You can see the screens, right? I think I have shifted on the news tab. x plus 1 like 2 uh, 3 plus 4x okay let's write this so Visible to everyone. My hope it is visible. Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, equation is. Eight x plus four and six plus eight x it is. Minus five x. So we can use simplify and that evaluates and the evaluate is true false. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
on this writing up total answer. 6 plus, it's easy to solve, I think. Let's solve something with 12. This one is fine. This is easy, I think. 6 plus uh, 8x minus 2. So 8x minus 4. Okay, equals to 3 minus 5 minus, sorry, plus 5x. I get the easy answers. Let's say 1 plus 16, a by 7. Let's see this one. Are we getting 16a plus 1 by 7? Yeah, so why we are not getting with a complete one? That is fine. Okay, 1 plus 16a by 7 is equals to 5a minus 5a minus 4. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So this is the equation. It gives you after breaking up the things accordingly. So this is the equation you have to solve what's the value of a. Question 1. You get questions like this in the examination, right? Think of, I think it's class 6 or 7 question. What do you think solve? Hmm. A equals to 10. Answer. Using solve, we can solve this. If you want to get the answer, that is ten. You don't have to even write other things and all. Going up with the long procedures, you can just directly go with this. Okay. So I think uh, things are fine right now, stop this.